guys really need a new couch. Please don't address me while I'm racing. I have an idea. A brilliant idea. What we need is to organize a pre-prank that also coincides with an attack on Kevin and his minions. Pre-prank? A prank designed to lull the administration into a false sense of security. Every year, the junior and senior classes pull a prank at some point in the year. Usually something lame like Roman candles in the dorm circle at 5 in the morning. Come on! That was an awesome prank. Point is, after the pre-prank, the eagle will think we've already pulled out prank and therefore won't be waiting for it to actually happen. Is there always a pre-prank? No, you idiot. Well, the eagle will be expecting two pranks. There hasn't been a pre-prank since 1987, when the pre-prank was cutting electricity to the campus. And the actual prank was putting 500 live crickets in the heating ducts of the classrooms. Sometimes you can still hear the chirping. Your rote memorization is like so impressive. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, pre-prank this weekend at the barn. You, me, the Colonel, Takumi, and a little gift just for you, Pudge. Lara Butterscare. Is that the same Lara Butterscare that I puked on? The one and only. She still likes you though. Puking on her just made you look vulnerable. Are you bringing Takumi for me? You need to be single for a while. True enough. So, what's our pre-prank? The Colonel and I will sort that one out. There's no need to get you in trouble. Yet. Well, in that case, I'll go have a cigarette. Now, the point of this evening's festivities is to prove once and for all that we are to pranking what the weekday warriors are to sucking. And we'll also have the opportunity to make life unpleasant for the eagle which is always an unwelcome pleasure. And so, we fight on three fronts. Front one, the pre-prank. We're going to light a fire under the eagle's ass. Front two, Operation Baldy. Where Lara flies solo in a mission so elegant, so cruel, that it could be only the brainchild of, well, me. Hey, it was my idea. Fine, it was her idea. And front three, we are going to hack into the computer network and use their grading database to send letters out to Kevin and his minions' families saying that they are failing some of their classes. We're definitely going to get expelled for this. And I hope you didn't bring the part Asian kid along thinking he's some kind of computer genius. Cause oh, that would be racist. We're not going to get expelled. And I'm the computer genius. The rest of you are the muscle and distraction. <laughs> We're like the Marines. First in, first to die. Heck yeah. The great perhaps is upon us, Takumi. This plan may have faults, these stars may have faults, but we sure as hell do not. Hold on for a sec. Not here, dude. We have to get to the Eagle's place. Hold on. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's my fox hat. Why do you have a fox hat? Cause no one can catch the fox, baby. Can you see the eagle's house? Yup. Less than 30 seconds. Dude, you alright? Yeah. Pudge, you can do this. It's just running. Right. Just running. Come on. Five. Four, three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Pudge, my friend, we are indestructible. <laughs> You're okay. I saw the eagle run out of his house. He was in his pajamas and he sure looked mad. Well, if he was mad then, I'd hate to see him now. Hey, where's the Colonel in Alaska? Because it narrows the list of possible suspects by 23. Why couldn't you just stick to the plan, Alaska? Please tell me everything else went alright, Lara. Yes, good. Details, please. I did everything you told me to. 
I, um, I hid behind the eagle's house until I saw him run after Pudge and Chikumi, and then I hid behind the dorm rooms, and then went through the window into Kevin's room and put the stuff into his gel and conditioner. What stuff? Undiluted industrial strength number five hair dye. Applied to my hair and it won't wash up for months. We dyed their hair blue. Well, technically they'll dye their own hair blue. We've just certainly made it easier for them. And the same three assholes now have progress reports coming for them saying that they're failing three classes. So, what's the bad news? Oh, come on. The other good news is that while the Colonel was hiding his he heard something. I saw two at their 20 other weekday warriors all have progress reports coming for them. I printed them all out, put them in envelopes and stuffed them in the mailbox. You were hiding for so long. Little Colonel was afraid of getting expelled. That is not good news. That was not the plan. That means that there are 23 more people that the Eagle can eliminate as suspects. 23! Yeah. And if the Eagle works it out, I'll take the call. Right, so while you're traipsing through the woods lighting firecrackers, you're also hacking into the school network and printing false progress reports? Yeah, that'll fly real well with the Eagle, won't it? Relax, dude. Seriously, if we get caught, I'll take the fall of Alaska, okay? So how'd you hack into the network? I climbed in the window of Dr. Hyde's office. I bit her out the computer and typed in the password. You guessed it? No. Tuesday, I saw him type it in. It's Jacqueline Hyde. So I could have done that. But then you wouldn't have gotten to wear that sexy fox hat. Kevin is going to be so annoyed about his hair. Yeah, and I'm so angry about my waterlogged library. Besides, Kevin is a blob dog. Prick us, we bleed. Prick him, he pops. You know, there's way too many kids here like that. Bloody blow up rich kid dolls. That was so much fun. I felt like someone out of a spy movie or something. I felt like someone that's like a total disgrace to their family. But yeah, it was kind of fun. Did it feel good to get revenge on Kevin? I mean, after he tried to kill you and all? I don't know really. Kevin's not really worth the hating. Hating the cool kids takes too much effort. Exactly. Honestly though, the prank wasn't really about getting revenge or vengeance or anything like that. It was just a chance to wreak some havoc. Didn't seem like that to Alaska. You think so too? You should go ask her. Come on, talk to us, do something. It looks to me like Alaska's done talking. Tomorrow then? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Careless and free, you never see until you found reality became your tragedy.